city in the desert where people are coming. Anywhere else in the world it takes 20 years to set up a functioning community. We did it in months. It is now coming to real life. And so, so what made you come across? Everybody wants it now, 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 not tomorrow, not in two months. Our message is very clear, all of you will get one. We say refugees, healing refugees or Syrian healing Syrians. Because this is a nightmare trying to rescue people from this border. How do you walk for four or five kilometers in the desert, in the dark, um, trying to avoid um, being shot at? So we, we basically need to um, sort of think in a much more strategic way, how do we deal with this refugee crisis? How many people tonight? Uh, we are expecting 900. 900? Tonight we're expecting 900, but we have had up to 3,000, 4,000 people in one night coming in. Can you tell me what happened to your family? We were displaced and we're refugees, I understand, but we just need a solution for the children. It's important to see people, check those who need immediate assistance, and of course documentation is very important because it allows you then to receive assistance in the camp. That was artillery. There we go. It's commonplace at night? It's common tonight. A bit too common I think. Like they're, they're not exposing themselves at the moment. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, guys, wrap it up. Moving out. Greg, move out. We don't really know who they are. Um, it could be, could be smugglers, could be FSA who are just sort of checking out the area. It could be someone who's got a, um, a reaction to the situation. There was some um, conflicts here just over the last few hours. So yeah, you just don't know. So it's um, in this sort of situation when you've got such a high level in VIP, it's just best to um, uh, err, yeah, err on the side of caution. Like the refugees have come across. The very first um, step is that they're receiving water. They've been traveling. Yet again, another step in a long journey towards safety. The second thing, unfortunately, and this is when it becomes almost funny, is the first experience for the children, for the young people, is a needle in their arm. It's a vaccination. They need full protection. We can proudly say that when they come here, that is uh, when they can actually breathe and actually relax and sleep. Tomorrow um, is World Refugee Day. So we'll be going to Zartri. We'll probably be seeing in Zartri the people who, are, who have just fled across the border tonight. Again, Zartri is not the best place in the world, but at least it's safe. And that's what people, that's all people want at the moment. They want to, they want to be safe. They want to receive assistance. Um, until such time they can figure out what, what happens next to their lives. and. Um, like as we hear the artillery sound in the in the distance there, like there's nothing um, anytime soon which is going to allow them to return. So yeah, we've got our job filled for, for, for a fair while. The crisis here in Jordan and across this region is the most acute humanitarian crisis in the world today. So I'm checking with the registration if he had received the caravan or not. 
because he has two blind uh, siblings. Uh, that is not going to happen from one day to the next, and if they don't stop demonstrating, there is no transfer. Hey, 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 hey.